proud that the brothers on the rise now. And let's celebrate all in my house. What's up, you guys? I'm Beast Boy here. Back with some more Vampira. Or Vampra. Pretty sure it's pronounced Vampira. Anyway, I know I haven't played this in a while. I haven't live streamed this in such a long time. It was like around like October since I played this. Um, I'm gonna go back and play it on live streams and whatnot. But um, for the time being, we'll probably won't get into that till next year. Uh, and this is just like one out of the two videos, pretty much the whole live stream of playing this on one night and then just literally stopping. And yeah, so crazy. But yeah, uh, we'll continue to play this. I figure why not just play through the whole thing and upload on my channel because definitely want to keep playing this game because it seems very interesting. So why not? I'm just gonna continue to play this. But uh, other than that. I'm hoping you enjoy this video. If you do, please press the like button, or leave a comment, and also subscribe to my Twitch channel. Uh, link in the description below as well. And subscribe to this channel too if you haven't. Please, like, check it out. Um, we'll be uploading a lot more videos in due time. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded anything in a long time on this channel, but I'm trying to get back to my roots, you know? So, other than that, hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll talk to y'all later. Is that? Come on, open it. Box of pills. Huh. Okay. Nah, eh, you can't get through there. Hmm. Okay, I seem like I'm stuck. Ah. All right. Wait, this trick is serious. I wonder if we can we can clean this. I wonder if we can clean this. Um, place up since it says serious. Oh, damn it. My controls. I can't believe I'm doing this. I mean, you are a vampire, brother. I can't help you with that. Oh, you know what? Hey, guess what? Alright. Damn it, stop pressing the button. Alright. Uh give me a sec. Door has been unlocked. Door was unlocked the whole time. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Alright. Now I can do with you guys. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Okay. And... Alright. Ow! Uh, what? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you not just put... They just put me in the corner. How rude. Excuse me, housekeeping. I was heard to fuck some shit up in vermin. Oh, okay. Oh, do you mind? Oh, do you mind? Get off of me. I'm royalty. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Thank you. Alright. Now. Got a book. Ugh. And I'm almost out of healing potions. I should I should have made more. Crap. Oh well. Uh I'll take that. Something was glowing over here. I saw something glowing over here. No, it's right between us. Yeah. Thank you. Alright. Let me help this poor old chap over here. Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't get... Good lord, man. <laughs> that looks... Fuck. That looks disgusting as fuck. 
Don't worry. Don't mind me. Are you okay, sir? What? What happened? Who are you? Who are you? It's all right, sir. You're safe now. Oh, a fellow Englishman. Thank you, sir. For a moment, I thought those bloody heathens had killed me. What are you doing here? This place is not safe. Yeah, it's a cesspool, but it's mine. I came to collect some overdue rent. But those who still live here have gone completely bonkers. You're very lucky to be alive. Bonkers or yeah, live in a shithole because everybody's dead like except you. You're lucky. And now with this bloody fever, they're just animals. You can find safety of sorts in Whitechapel. If you're quick and cautious, you'll be able to avoid the savages. All right, I'll let you live because I don't need to suck a few blood. Plus, this place is already in bad shape. All right, do I need what I get? All oh, alcohol. You got some pretty interesting stuff in here. Ah. Cover essentials. Yes. All right. What was the point of coming through here? To be honest. Are you serious? They spawn? Uh, seriously? Alright, just gonna move in. Don't worry. Look lively. It's on to us. Oh my god, do you just expect that everybody's a vampire? Ow. Oh, well, I mean, there's that. Okay, uh, this is not what it looks like. <laughs> okay, funny story. Ow! Oh, you know what? Ah! Okay, you can talk about this. Oh, God, you got fucked. What just happened? <laughs> he assassinated... Assassin that creep me. Hey, I'm to you. Really? I can't tell. Burn it, boys. All right. You bet I lost it. Now. I uh, know. Ow, why am I still on fire? Jesus. All right. There we go. Now, can I get to the door? Well, not that door, but can I get through this door? Actually, is there any blood around? I still can't get through that door. Maybe here? No. Oh, here. Nope. Nope. Hmm. I swear, there's gotta be another way to get up here. All right. Is there another way I can get through here? I had to go through a long way then. Damn it. Mine, I'll take it. Yes, uh... Damn it. <laughs> 
Uh, myself. Myself can't keep it up. Alright. I'm breathing. Fuck off. Alright, you know what? You're damn right. I was gonna leave y'all be, but y'all just want to just. I'm not even buying you, sir. Yeah, sure you will. All right, that 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 did. Uh, now, if you excuse me, I'm trying to read. Well, actually, I'm trying to get something out of the trash can, but still. All right, chapel's right up ahead. The zombie in the door. I wonder if I can stagger you. Don't worry. Just here to ah shit. <laughs> Just here to save the day. Alright. That works. I can't believe I'm doing this. I mean what do you mean? There's more and more of these bloody leeches every night. I the guards are recruiting more and more every year. Alright. This is not a place for you, sir. Sir, step away now. I'm stepping forward. So. Die, vermin! This is a bloody crime! Shit! Sir, are you standing there? You okay? Because guess what? Attacks. They won't work. Uh. My attacks were useless against him. How dares? Uh. No, I don't even have what I need, which is bad because I don't have it. All right. Uh. Nope. Oh, yes. Let's see. Improve firepower. Improve the firepower. Alright, that's better. <laughs> Literally, that achievement is called That's Better. What you gonna do about it, huh? None. How am I one of them? I have a gun. No, y'all just plain stupid. one hey guess what now I'm just gonna come right between here and you're not gonna do jack shit about it uh 
In case you have no so your boy's gone. Basketball playing is smart. Oh, hang on. I don't know. Negan shit. Something. I hear something not good, and I don't like that. Oh, thank God we got past that part. Whitechapel. Neighborhood. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. In this first. Let's find this Petrescu fellow. This place is dangerous. Oh, secrets. Just somehow know it. Alright, uh. It's a good thing I didn't use that shotgun because I'm gonna need it. Oh, seven shots. Perfect. Yeah, he's already dead. Nice. Oh, what the hell? Hey, you. Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Uh, okay. Well. You should read this letter first. I have found a very interesting letter. Your son planned to prove his worth to the gang by stealing your medicine. Oh, I see. So the little bugger thought he could use his dad to build a reputation. The gang's recruiter was dead when I found him. Perhaps you should take better care of your son. I love my Albert, sir. Believe me. It's just... Soul, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for the letter. This is for your trouble. Ah, thank you. Now, do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for it too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. It's just a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. Hmm. Okay. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. That's Good a terrible life. cocktail I don't want any part of. Alright, there's no point in drinking his blood. He's gonna be hell pretty much gonna be helpful about the rest of the time. He has a slight migraine. Oh god. That explains why he's walking funny. Alright, uh which way should I go? Go this way. I might go this probably best to go this way. Alright, so looks like I'm not done look for her. It's all a bloody joke to you, eh? Okay, ask her. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. 
The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Human? Hmm. I, I'm, I'm obviously. Let's see what you got. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. I come in handy for what I need for like uh stuff and whatnot. Let's see two hands. You have an axe to grind. Alright, uh weapons, weapons, sale. Uh let's see. Um I have so much money on me. Like back then, this is a lot. In our time it's worth nothing. Just heads up and let you know. I I think I need more of this. That. And. No. Oh. <laughs> Might have that anyway. But while I'm at it. Good evening, my dear. Uh. Do you see. know Nurse Dorothy Crane? From yeah, Denver she is. I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? We've never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. Okay. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. All right, so she hasn't seen her. All right, let's just keep going. Oh. Unknown. All right. Well, wherever he... Wherever this place is, it's here. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Well, I just say that. Going at the back door. Where are you going? Hmm. Oh shit. He has bronchitis. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I am so stupid. They just watch from over here. Strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Really? That's racist. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott. No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Alright, so where is that? Oh, we gotta go there. What's over here? So, uh... Let's see if I the White Chapel. Alright, so that's where we need to go. Well, so there we go. Ugh. Not now. I'm good. Ugh. Local people. Imprisoned by your daily routine, unable to see the true horror around you. You know, these are people I can really talk to. I just don't choose to talk to them. Actually, find Clayton. 
Maybe he's Clayton. Did he just move? Who talked to him? Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias nah. Wittenger nope, is always him. happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Yeah, it's whatever. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses. But I especially abhor that nurse Crane you mentioned. Mm. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. Interesting. All right. So you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Oh. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. I mean, I don't play with gods, just like dress apart, but, you? you know, this is vampires. Answers about the Armageddon I don't, about <laughs> I haven't made the rules the on that, I don't know. Answers about the hidden truth. I'm listening. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. I mean, yes. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes, I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. Oh, the abyss. Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. Cleansing fire? I was actually cleansing. Tell me, Tobias, what exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. Hmm. Uh, you say that. Science is our only hope, to be honest, yes. Science and progress are our only hope against the monstrosity hidden behind this epidemic. See, Doctor? Now you acknowledge the presence of evil within the city's walls. Now you start to admit the truth. It failed. I could ask him again. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. I'll try that again later. <laughs> Alright. So much for that. So, I find Clayton in an area. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? There Name's you are. Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. All right. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? Mm. Come with this so I care about the public health. I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. 
What do you know of her? Oof, a man legs. named Darius. I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious. Never goes out. Doesn't seem to have any friends or family. Hmm. Never goes out. He never goes out. No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. You mean never ripped it up and flew away? He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. Behind the church. Interesting. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. All right. He's behind the church, actually. I think I saw him. I was coming over here. Alright, so. Yeah, we're in this area. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm. Which premise is pretty sus. Melia, I know you work for Dorothy Craig. Please tell me about her secret. Dispensary. Hmm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. He really doesn't want to talk. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? Ah. <sighs> Very well. Goodbye then. And again. Find the mailbox in the letter. Alright. Find the mailbox in the letter. Find the mailbox in the letter. Alright. Uh. What the mailboxes look like back then? Alright. So, am I in the right. I must have passed by it, actually. Find the mailbox. Ah, that must be it right there. Ah, there it is. My dearest must beloved children. I'm so sorry I could not hear from me for a few months. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Alright, so now. We still need to be around here? No, we need to go in the back now. Alright. He's healthy. Wait. Wait a minute. Shit. Just him by himself. No, it's not. Surprise, motherfucker! Noni! Again, 
go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Totter. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Let me in. Okay, Yari, let me in. Awesome. All right, so uh, where are you? There you are. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. Such an Italian name. Interesting. I is away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. Okay. Well. Let's see. Uh... Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Okay. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Petrescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Interesting. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Interesting. All right. Tell me everything you I know just said about that. Camellia, the that. mute florist. I do not believe in the No, <laughs> I just want to Doctor, skip this thing. But I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Uh. All right, fine. So, what's her name? So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Goodbye, Mr. Patrice. And thank you for letting me into your home. I will not suck your blood. Alright. Hey, easy. I'm not trying to get what you got. I have no corona in here. Thirst. Uh, this is probably a bad idea. Who's thirsty? I'm here, surprisingly. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Corona! Treatment. Aspirin okay. is Allison for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Uh... Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. <clears throat> he's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can I do, Doctor? Uh... 
It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, doctor. None then. at all. I'd open his throat so that way he can breathe. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? Control. I, I can't see. Control. I must. First, suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. Cardiac massage, now. Cardiac... what? Are you making this up as you go along? Damn. Lost it. I lost the patient. We've lost the pulse. We've lost the pulse. <sighs> He's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions, something primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. Uh, I tried. I really did. And he holds together, too. I think in I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. It was I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Well, I come to stop the blackmail. You can't carry on with this. This is illegal. I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. Okay. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs. 
and I'll milk her for all she's got. Okay. The end. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know your kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. <sighs> nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. Trust me, I know more than you think. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop, Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? I spare. <sighs> no. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then? No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. I mean, pretty much fine for the same war, so, you know, can't really stop you. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a All right, so I don't know if I planned that so well. Your citizen is available to kill. What? I cannot enter. Ophi. I don't know why I just heard. Hey. Oh, that's what I heard. So I don't think the hint would have been too. Whoa, <laughs> um, bro, close your legs, man. Pra oh, God, I don't think that um that um having like the hints available for you won't be too much of an issue if you don't get them. So I mean, as long as you play the game the right way, as long as I'm playing the game the right way, that's all I care. And ma'am, you're not really caring on what happens on what just happened down there. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Guess make my way back down to the hospital. All right. Test me. Your spine. Uh, you should probably have a doctor to take a look at. Oh wait, I am a doctor. Good to know. 
All right, so we need to make our way back. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Mm-hmm. Kill it, boy! So far, doing good. Nope, not happening. You die. All right, you, I need you to die. Come on! Oh, come on. Alright. Thank you. Now. Okay. Come here. Just die like this. Now. They killed really come on huh surprisingly i didn't die it took that free bass all right next i need some sleep all right Let's see do i have you know what maybe go ahead and make some stuff craft this all right i'll craft as much as i can and then I need to go see the following people. What were the people again that were fatigued? Uh, go back. Yeah, he's fatigued. Plus, he's also my buyer in case I need weapons. So, maybe help him out. Go have everybody else out before I can uh, resume with the mission. But I wonder how you can give them medicine in order to not feel... Um, I don't know, something. <laughs> See, I'll do with you in a second, ma'am. Yo, hook, baby! Good evening. Good, evening. Good evening, doctor. Good evening, doctor. Still trying to save lives? Let's trade. I'd like to see, you. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Alright, I need to give him this. All right. Hopefully that worked. Did that work? Is that what you're supposed to do? Uh, loss of blood. I need to know why. All right. Hang on. Let me talk to him again. Maybe that was wrong. Good evening, Milt. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save uh, lives. Personal question. No. Uh, smuggling weapons. How's the situation around here? What do you do exactly? So what do you do him. exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since too long, I guess. I bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done most of the most time. Most of the time. Uh, okay. 
It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body Oh, trust back. me, I've been back there. I think I can help you. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. That's how you do it. <laughs> I just saw that at the top right. Uh, Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. But thanks anyway. Alright. So, my main man, you're gonna feel better. Goodbye, Milton. Alright. So, that should have worked. Alright. No blood loss. Alright. Who else was... I have to go back again. She's right there. She's fatigued, as well as Oswald. I don't even have. Have I even talked to Oswald at all? At least that mistress of the dog. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Good evening, Nurse Brandon. Why does she always evening, look the other way? I don't understand. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? I will be fine as soon as I can get some sleep. All right. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Give her medicine. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. And can you try look at me next time? Well, goodbye, Miss? Nurse. Call me if you need Like seriously, my eyes are right over here. Unless you already know some vampire in that case. Okay. Alright. Now Oswald. I sold that last one to um Hook. Damn it. Alright, I need to make one more. Alright, please tell me I have enough. I have... Oh, I already have one more. Okay. Alright, uh... You know what? He's in the building, so it doesn't matter if I go through here. I have to go see Lady Osborne. Alright, so we're doing good so far. Hopefully those medicines are going to get this place stable again. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah, in case you missed the last live stream, she's also a vampire. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Speak up Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Ugh. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. Okay. No need to apologize. So the accuser was true. We're all vampires after all. I'll just say that. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. His cynical... Okay, maybe I shouldn't show that. That sounds a little dark. The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries. Oh god, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna regret I saying see. that in some way. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right? Say I trust you. But you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree. To uh, whatever. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. Alright, uh... 
Let's see. Allow you to kill. Why did you save me? How old are you? I feel like that's a little too much right there. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. Okay, a scowl. What's a scowl? What type of vampire is a scowl? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. So in other words, we pretty vampires. Them, they some ugly motherfuckers. William Bishop. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. Okay. Uh. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. This makes sense. And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Makes sense. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. Okay, now the main question I really want to know. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now. And 27, I shall remain. So in other words, you're free tonight, aren't you? <laughs> okay, let me stop. Uh, this is not the truth at all. Who grants you eternal youth? And who bestowed upon you this? That will be interesting. Eternal youth. My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Maker? Uh, this is not all the truth. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna say that. Uh, see about me about London. What happened to London? I met some vampire hunters. How many are there? I also want one of them. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Interesting. Uh, will they be friendly? Who attacked me? I really doubt I really want to ask her, will they be friendly? Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your I'll be surprised if he's actually yourself. heard that what do you turn mean? me into a um, Every vampire. Then, you may discover an immortal That'll be the major twist right there. Either that or Swansea. We are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Alright. Uh how many vampire hunters? Do I really need to ask what happened in London? I don't care. Voice in my head, I am a vampire. Why was I left for dead? I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. Mm -hmm. How often are... I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Mm. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Okay. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. Okay. Uh, 
I've been hearing a voice. This will be the last question. I'm tired of just hearing both of them talk. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. Okay, fine. How could I cause this offense? How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Okay. Well, I guess with that's it. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. All right. I must quickly analyze, I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Yes, but first, I need to find who I'm looking for. I can't seem to find wherever that person is. Oh. Have you seen a geek? Glasses? Well, that's a little bit too much high school right there, but still. I'm looking for a geek. Two hours later. Alright, sir, why are you walking around here? <laughs> You're him. Hello again, Mr. Touch. Oh, how are you, man? Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. I don't want to know where you live. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. I will see you later. Well, actually, just ask him. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers. <laughs> got chased by these fucking wankers. Anyway. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? God, that's what the bloody doctors say. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital. I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. He's claustrophobic. Oswald. Why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Fine, I can help you. Mr. Thatcher. Do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Okay, what do you mean? Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. Okay. Jaha, did you get buried? Oh, um... Maybe it's worth a shot if I can ask him this. As a soldier, you're expected to kill the enemy to survive. Guilt is a powerful emotion and could lead to feelings of suffocation and oppression. My God, you're so wrong. Believe me, I would kill if it happened again. Violence is part of who I am. Hey. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours. I'm going to say childhood. I think it is childhood. Event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then if you're so interested in my case. As a soldier, you're expected to kill the enemy to survive. No. Oh, God. Guilt it's doing the same thing. Emotion and could lead to Damn feelings it. of suffocation and oppression. My God, you're so wrong. Believe me. It's just going to do the repeat the whole thing. The game. Violence is part of who I am. All right. So much for that. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. 
If he dies by the time I could get back, I'm killing. I'm eating. Oh, I'm <laughs> eating him. I'm sucking his blood. I swear to God. All right. Analyzes from his blood. Okay, so I, I need to go back in my own room. Why is she looking at me? I, for a split second, she looked at me. Alright. Now. Analyze this blood. Damn it. Alright, how do I... Wari... Brisk blood sample? Let's see. Wari brisk blood sample... Oh, you guys make make some of this stuff because some people are getting stuff. In my stuff, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, damn no. All right, I need to go find. Oh, let me see if I can recycle this stuff. All right, maybe that helps. No. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. All right, chapter three, family history. Nice. Huh. Funny. Think about this, I'm just like, what does it also have to do with the, um, coronavirus? I don't even know. A little too much to ask. All right, saw something. All right. Oh, Swansea, can you let me into your? Wait, that. Oh no, this right here. Yo, Swansea. What are you looking at? Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak. But I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? Well, uh, symptoms are different in France. I never saw symptoms like this when I was in France. Not at all. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Hmm. Uh, yes, I have. Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is spreading and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. Yeah, it's too dangerous. But the risk of infection using vampire blood could compound the situation. I know, but your blood now carries remarkable regenerative properties. With our minds and your blood, there's nothing we couldn't cure. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. What? Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel. Oh, Cemetery. yeah. I forgot. Um... Your mother published accidentally the bit her and drained her blood. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Damn, I forgot about that. 
All right, uh, we had to attend my sister's funeral. Fuck. Well, at least for one thing, one thing's certain. I can at least go back to without any problems. Who coughing? Okay, let's make a show. I'm surprised. Okay, two things. I'm a vampire, but yet I can see my own reflection or shadow, wherever that is. Second, I wish it was in this some area I that we'll have like to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. Who are you? What do you want? Alright, uh, I'm stuck. Alright, time to bring out the big gun. Somebody help! Right, I need I need juice. Give me the juice! <laughs> Give me the juice! Ow! Okay. Somebody help! Hang on. Drain your blood because I am dying. Shut up, for God's sake. Now, are you okay, ma'am? Are you all right, miss? I, I don't know. Who were those people? They, they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Shun. Xai Shun? Thank you so much for Zai helping me, Mr. Zai Reed. Shun? I must oh, no. go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Oh, okay. You look hot. From, from this point. Okay. Another one. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, sir. Ow! Okay, you know what? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Give me your tombstone. That rat. Thank you. To the rat. I have this thirst for blood. Whoa, okay. It feels better to be on the other side of the string. All right. Give me that. That's perfect. I think it's down here. Fuck's sake. Okay, motherfucker. Where the fuck do you come from? Get the fuck off of me. Okay, hang on. That's a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Excuse my language. Now, motherfucker! I have no idea what you just came across. And you? Oh, I'm not too. I'm not too the mountain one swing. Interesting. Okay, I need to go up there. Oh, God damn it. How many people have to visit the cemetery at night? Oh, 
Sorry again to whoever this person was. Alright. So not anymore. Oh. Well, that explains that. I was about to say, can people not go to the cemetery at night? Do I have to go this way? Yeah. No, no offense. But I need you to cut that out. We don't have that here. Okay, hang on. I'll give it to you in a second. Ow! Okay. It's been a second. Alright, I need you to calm down, sir. Um, yeah, his head isn't fucked up. Okay. Why did I get teleport here? Oh. Okay. Got something new. But not really important to me. Anyone else that's... N if you're a zombie and you're trying to kill me because you have no sense of control, but yet you're still in this damn cemetery at night because everybody else is the idiot. Clap your hands. Okay. I think I'm good. Hmm. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend. Oh, your center. mom's here. Oh. Well, uh. Damn. Yeah, plus it will be hard to let her know that you're a vampire. I'm surprised she's still alive. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my men and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <sighs> oh, that seems harsh. Wait, was that the priest from earlier? No, 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 that wasn't the priest. Oh, Mary. What have I done? If I could only change one. One thing. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept. Yeah, it's kind of nowhere out of bloom, dude, so don't worry about it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. They're like hypocrite. He was a kind incarnation. Sounds like, sounds like a bad joke. Eh. Yeah. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan, and a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her.
her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered, and... and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. Tell me how. How is it possible? Tell me. Is it so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared? Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. I follow your advice. I'm not a religious man. You may be right. Eh. Yeah. You may be right. Of course. I've stared upon this world for centuries. And time has taught me to deal with guilt, if not erase it. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. I think that's what I literally just said, but okay. All right, well, impression that that was, uh, yeah. Ghost, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Huh? Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Who the fuck are you? Shed your skin, forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Uh. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Oh, he's a Learn big fella. Oh, abide shit. Abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Something tells me. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Oh. You don't see me. Best be moving on. Elite! Elite! See me, I do not want any smoke from you. That's right. Well, I ran away because I don't know how to deal with that. I got some business with the Lord. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned yes. from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. Ow. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray. To cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. This is my own personality. I do not need for your kind ear. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chaplain. I can be as silent as stone. 
I have words for one departure. This is private concern. The private matter. I've told you once. This is a private concern. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? Did I tell you she's my sister? You gotta say it. She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She has been laid to rest. That's all you need to know. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I see. I wish I could forget all this. I wish I could forget all this. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost hmm. importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I'm so sorry, Mary. I promise to find who is responsible for all this. I'll put an end to this horror. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will be like I said that's the right words. If your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Thank you, priest. All right. I think I feel a little bit better from that. Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. All right, so where am I going now? Back to the hospital. All right. Good enough. I'm cheap and I'm pretty. Really? Because your body says something else. Expensive. Hey, I haven't seen you before. A lot of people are talking about this colossus. Perhaps I should leave you to Nah, I don't care. When science fails you, this elixir will give you faith again. Uh, still the same people around here, don't they just die? Hmm. Oh, I came from somewhere. Oh, here. Why is it always a long way back? Uh, let's not do any enemy. Me? down there okay at least they didn't have to deal with me thank god you kidding me over there there's one of them burning ah you can't just leave me alone can you Oh, 
<laughs> Jesus, that body. Okay. Oh. Don't mind me. Just passing through. Nothing happened up there. You don't need to go check. There's a lot of you guys out here now. That's getting a little bit more difficult. Okay. I'm just gonna go. Oh, thank God. Grim, force, and pain are precious when binding you to the earth. You, I remember you. Huh? Whoa! Who the hell is this? Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me! Made me this creature! What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. Wait, what? Tell me what you are. I am the whitened bones and blackened soil. The land made blood course through thy veins. What? Okay. What is it you seek? I do often look a lot like um a star from Thor Ratnarok. An Helen, but male version of it. Newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. Maybe. Who's talking? Okay, who's arguing? God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. Woodsman. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Huh? Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet clean. Yes, yeah, so I don't want any blood on you. Well, it. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. Like sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news yeah, for you. But anyway, I need to talk to you. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Hmm. Got this major store. No one noticed a few more bodies. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution this hospital is their only hope of course you're right but we cannot afford a public scandal it would ruin us we must restore order and quickly you mentioned the dead patient who is he she Jonathan she was Miss Harriet Jones I found her room like a slaughterhouse blood everywhere the duty nurse is taking oh, care damn. of the mess I don't have to hear this from. I don't have the her heart for this. I'm your only hope again. I'll help. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge. I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please then, tell me. 
Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. Uh, and now uh, guard of pre priest like suspects the hospital in training. vampire activity. I forgot where he was. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Ah, great. Now I gotta go see the mess that someone made. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. There again. Whoa. Oh, um... I might have to blur this out, but what on earth happened here? Oh no, it looks yikes. Oh, this is horrible. Time has lost its effect on him, but the suffering continues. Yes, and this is her. Oh, Jonathan, I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman, butchered by some savage scowl. No, I'm not saying that. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scowl, I brought him here. Jonathan. How could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. But there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Give me no, I'm not gonna ask. Okay. What do you know about the Askin? Difficult but holy sip symbols. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Okay, is this God's will or are you frightened? Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Hmm. I right, ask him about. Uh, I don't know if I want to ask him. Ah, it's Jasker. What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? It was <laughs> I'm not going to ask that. <laughs> What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. All right. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. What you heard, nigga?